let's talk about potato kugel. Potato kugel is an Ashkenazi Jewish dish that was typically served for Shabbat or some other Jewish holidays. It's grated potatoes, onion, all kind of smashed together in a baking dish or a casserole dish. And it's got a crispy texture. It's usually more of a side dish than like a main thing. Potato kugel is hardly one of the sexier dishes out there, let alone in the world of Ashkenazi Jewish cooking but it's, it's a dish that holds a special place in my heart. When I was first trying to look into what were my heritage foods, foods that I possibly ate growing up that weren't explicitly passed down to me, potato kugel was one of the first recipes I came across that I thought, oh, this, this maybe seems a little bit familiar, I'm gonna give this a shot. I know I used a uh, Torievi recipe at some point, Leah Kane, and probably something from the Gefilte Manifesto, which is actually right behind me. That was good planning. The first time I made it, there was a sense of familiarity with it. I don't know with 100% certainty that I grew up with this dish. It just was something that my grandmother made. But when I first had that, when I got that first crunch, you know, the top comes out, if you do it right, comes out incredibly crispy. And when I, that, that first crunch I had, it sent me back to my childhood and it made me think of some of the other foods that I probably ate growing up. There's a familiarity to it that started me down this exploration of heritage foods, especially Ashkenazi Jewish heritage foods. So naturally I wanted to make my own potato kugel and I wanted to put in some things that I like, that, that, I, that are staples in my refrigerator. So on this potato kugel, I'm throwing in paprika. Honestly, I also just like the sound of that paprika potato kugel. It's got a nice little bounce to it. I also love paprika. Paprika runs through my veins. You should probably see a doctor about that. But I also, I, I've always got carrots and zucchini on hand and I'm always shredding those. I actually put that into my shakshuka sauce and I'll, I'll probably share that eventually as well. So in this paprika potato kugel, you have your staples, the potato of course, uh, onions, but I also throw in shredded carrots, shredded zucchini, some smoked paprika, sweet paprika, a little bit of cumin, salt to taste, pepper, and of course matzo meal to help bind that all together once you've got all the spices mixed in with the egg. So without further ado, let's start making some potato kugel. To kick things off, go ahead and turn on your oven and preheat up to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit and put your baking dish in there to let it warm up to the exact temperature that you're going to be baking at. Mine is a 22 and a half centimeter by 16 centimeter baking dish or 10 inches by 6 inches for all of our American listeners out there, viewers. It's a video, not a podcast. Then go ahead and grab four potatoes and start shredding. I know some people like to peel the skin off, but I really don't notice a difference in the flavor. And you know, I think there's some healthy stuff on the skin. So I keep it on and just get straight to grating. You can also use a food processor here, but I presume that most people just getting started in the kitchen probably don't already have a food processor. Plus, you know, you do it by hand. It makes it feel like you're more involved in the meal. At least that's what I tell myself when I get tired by the fourth potato. As the shreds start pulling on your cutting board, you're gonna notice a lot of liquid already coming out, particularly some starch. That's okay, we're actually gonna be squeezing that out later. Then once you've got your shreds all, well, you know, shredded, go ahead and start putting them into a bowl and you're gonna leave them there. Some people like to put their potato skins or potato shreds under cold water to help preserve, to help stop them from browning, but I find that I move fast enough that I don't really need to worry about that. I just get all the shreds in there and keep on moving. Then you can go ahead and move on to your zucchini and your carrots. I use here one whole zucchini and two carrots. Grate your zucchini. And of course, before you grate your carrots, go ahead and give those a quick peel and then go to town on that grater. Once you're done with the zucchini and carrots, go ahead and take those scraps and toss them into your bowl with your potato scraps. Now, if you've got sensitive eyes, you're gonna feel this one because we are grating a whole onion. I actually find that you do it quick enough, it's not so bad. Just great like you know that if you go too slow, it's going to sting your eyes. This wasn't originally in the plan, but because I love garlic, I went ahead and made the impromptu decision to reach into my cupboards and pull out what garlic I had, about four or five cloves. And I took the garlic and I went ahead and microplaned it into my mix of veggies. Then I move everything, the onions, the potatoes, the zucchini, the carrots, and the garlic onto a cheesecloth. You're gonna go ahead and wrap this up nice and tight and move it over to the sink and just squeeze out as much liquid as you can. You don't need to spring a muscle trying to get every last drop of liquid out of there, but just as you can see, there, there's a lot of liquid in there, so you know, give that some twists and turns and get out as much as you can comfortably. 
You can go ahead and leave that out on the counter and then start cracking four eggs into a small bowl. And then before you whisk them, add in your spices. What we're doing today is a half teaspoon of smoked paprika, a half teaspoon of sweet paprika, and about a quarter teaspoon of cumin. Top it off with about a teaspoon and a half of salt, or go ahead and salt that to taste. Last but not least, throw in your pepper again to taste. Then go ahead and whisk that all together. Oh hey, look at me, I forgot to add my two tablespoons of vegetable oil, I'm doing that now. This is also where you can put in your schmaltz instead, or butter. Now you're gonna start mixing your kugel all together. Go ahead and take your cheesecloth, put it over a large bowl, and get all of your vegetable scraps out into that bowl. Once your scraps are in the bowl, throw your egg mixture on top of it. Throw in about 25 grams, or just shy of three tablespoons of matzo meal. And then go ahead and dive in hands first and just mix it all up, squeeze it all together, make sure it's nice and combined. Now move back over to your oven, take your baking dish out. It should be, well, you know, nice and toasty to the point where when you throw your tablespoon of butter on top, again, this could be schmaltz or it could be olive oil, it should start sizzling immediately. Whatever you use, go ahead and spread that around the baking dish and carefully put your potato kugel mix into the baking dish. This ended up being the perfect amount of prep. I really had to pack this in there, but it fit nicely, so I didn't waste any of my scraps. And now I'm throwing on just a little bit more butter, spreading that around. Then I throw it into the oven for about 45 to 60 minutes, take it out. It should read at about 160 degrees Fahrenheit in the center if you're using a th quick read thermometer, and you should have a nice, crispy brown look on top. It should be nice and crunchy. Once you're happy, take it out and let it cool for a good five to 10 minutes before you start cutting some slices and serving. Es Gesundheit. And that, friends, is my paprika potato kugel. What I like about potato kugel is that it's one of those dishes that if you are feeling relatively new and experienced in the kitchen, that it's kind of hard to mess this up. As long as you got potatoes and onions and you got your egg mixture, you got it into a casserole dish, it's probably gonna come out pretty tasty, but feel free to play around with it. You can put more paprika into this, you can put less if paprika's not your thing. If it's not your thing, who are you? Paprika's the best. I really encourage you to, to play around with this recipe, make it your own. It's a great side dish, as it was traditionally eaten on Shabbat and, and other holidays, but you can also make a baker. I've made a sweet potato kugel with apples inside and that was delicious and that served as more of like a as a main dish so you can really make it your own however you do it i just hope you start making some potato kugel it needs to be in your life